and um, the Scout Council, Bale City, all participants present. I want to apologize for being here. I was supposed to be here until the function ends, but I received a call that I had to readjust my program. My name is Namwenge Rita. I am a fan of the young people. And I feel so humbled when I see young people behaving patriotic. And I usually give them flowers. <laughs> and I want to ask you, young people, to clap for our teachers and our mentors because where we are going, we can see. Because uh, when young people are in a place, people begin fidgeting. Because they begin calling us Generation X, Generation what? But we are young people. That is what we are, isn't it? Yes. And um, I am happy that you are scouts. I have a long story, but I'll cut it short. When I saw that young man commanding the parade, I remembered my dad, Mr. Mwalia Simon Peter. And I was a young man, and I just told him, Daddy, I also want to go. I knew nothing. And I began crying, and my mom said, ah, ah, go. So what I went and so inspired me, uh, the skills you get, are life skills and i want to tell you one thing that going to school is another but having a skill is also what another and uh, when you grow you remember these words you will go to school with your papers i passed in first grade i passed in second grade i passed in third grade wherever you will have your certificates o level a level but there is what we call interpersonal skill. What do you have? Can you survive? Are you resilient? And what they are giving you will help you uh, to fight it in this Uganda, which is full of I am happy for the parents who have supported the children for their children, and I wish you tell others. I don't want to speak so many words because I'm in a hurry, but I'm going to humbly request my brother, the RCC. You know, for us who work with government, protocol is very important. Whether you have the title of an assistant RCC, we don't look at that. a person, we look at an officer. So he's here as an RCC of Mbale City. And I'm going to commit to you, I'm going, I'm going to request to you that I delegate you, support me, as a guest of honor until the function was ends. Then um, I'm also going to pledge because I'm a teacher who teaches people not to beg. I teach people to be independent because I believe that when you're independent, you're not compromised. And I know we all teach these young people because we want them to be independent. That's why we say we want to make you learn a better place, right? So the objective or the, the, the goals of the launch of this camp are very easy to achieve if we speak one language. I am happy you have written the letters. I also extend you the phone call. But there is a simple formula. I am a teacher of wealth creation and I'm a teacher of job creation. So I teach people to be self-reliant, but I also believe that one by one makes a what? Yeah. If the education officer, together with the town clerk and the office of the RCC, wants a band boat in one term, it's possible. How? If you woke up in the morning and said, this is the goal, because this skill is very important and it's in the curriculum. And you say each child coming to school should just give us 500 shillings. 500 Ugandan what? Shillings. Do we need to go and beg? So, 
because I am a Mugisu and being a Mugisu is a full-time job because we are very proud because our fathers were circumcised, right? So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so there is that pride that we can be self-reliant. So I am going to request RCC and um, the commissioners, I've seen you have your pass, that we create one day and have a meeting where there is a technical planning committee of the city and your side and then the RCC and we solve this thing once and for all. As long as all the schools will make sure that there is accountability for the money and it's what delivered. Now that one will say it's a long story, it's not achievable. It is very what? Achievable and very possible. So for me my request would be that that we would do, use that methodology. Then these others of the well wishers would come in, but we have our own initiative to make sure that this goal is achieved. And I will support you one hundred percent. The second issue is um, when I came here, I was impressed, very impressed, and I reluctantly didn't want to march because I was also becoming an assessor. To see really uh, young people in seven days can command a parade, and the parade was fully constituted. I was like, ah, this is nice. So. Permit me, I'm going to break the protocol, but also for others to be encouraged, that you allow me to give a small gift to the current command. Because he did a good job a person who understands what to do. Thank you so much. I saw a young lady, a beautiful young girl, commanding. Oh, yeah, yeah, I said patriotism. Oh, yeah. So, I, permit me also, I give her a small gift. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Hey. I am so humbled that I saw teachers and the scout council were telling me that they volunteered. They were here picking their own what? Money. Now the protocols I don't know. I don't know who to give, not who not to give. But we believe in teamwork, isn't it? So permit me hand over a small contribution to the transport refund to the mighty team that has made this a success. And it's a small contribution of 300,000. <laughs> Akalulu, eh?
with you the contact so that we can fix a meeting to see that this happens. We start with home before we look for, for others. Eh? And uh, with the help of the other city. But other city owner, you are command the most. <laughs> and Alex Martha, he was our command chairman. He's the mentor. He's the person who gave me a scholarship. I came from a very humble family. Teacher, when he was the chairman in Northern India. I have a college master. Then I have that when you support young people, you support innovation and the future generation. I've spoken so many words, but as I conclude, there is nothing very important like loving your country. Because when you love your country, you love yourself. I know most people are crying and knowing what is in Kenya, where young people are disagreeing with their country. You can disagree, but let's agree, isn't it? Uh, secondly, is at times they don't tell us, but uh, government tries a lot to support us as young people. I saw when somebody was saying that, eh, Madam Rita, or oh, Sister Rita is coming as a woman member of parliament in Mali City. I saw a young person asking which party. Yes. Okay? Yes. Now, I want to tell you that we come from the east, isn't it? Yes. And the sun rises from what? <coughs> And when we are painting in geographical interpretation, the sun is which color? Yes. yes. So these other colors, red, blue, what? They are very welcome because they, they come from yellow. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. They come from what? Yes. So I am coming in a yellow color, but I'm not very what? Because the sun rises from what? Yellow. 